YouTube. Hello. I was at the action and then I also found this thing. This is a LED strip. You see that? It's a LED strip and it's powered by three batteries. That means that this thing uses like 4.5 volts. We all know that our computers have a USB port that is giving about 4.5 to 5 volts. So in fact, we could power these LEDs with a USB cable and we could make a kind of lamp light that we could use beside a computer, let's say beside your bed or so, you know, that when you turn off the computer, the light also goes off. So we won't need no switch. We just need some USB uh, plug to, you know, connect to this thing. And then I thought maybe it would be cool to kind of um, fit this, these, these LED lights in this big bottle. So you can just like put the bottle on the table, you know, beside the computer and it gives light the moment you turn on the computer would be really nice beside your bed. Well, I don't know if if this is like really nice to have beside your bed, but then again, you know, I'm the one to decide about that, so. Okay, the concept is really easy. You peel off the, the, the paper uh, of the lamp at the back of the lamp, and then you can glue it, in fact, in the bottle. You could make all sorts of models. Uh, I'm not gonna uh, invent a wheel here. What I'm doing, I'm just putting it in a way that the lights, you know, will shine up and they will shine from the side. So no matter how you turn the bottle, you know, lights will shine out of the bottle. So it will give an amazing effect. At least that is what I think. I never did this before. So I'm just fitting this uh, into the bottle and when this is done um, i'm gonna go get back to you you know get uh, just make sure that if you make bands at the top if you have to go down again that you don't make the bands too catastroph catastrophic that uh that you know the thing breaks in fact it won't break it, it's kind of you know but do it kind of careful and make sure that the, you know so I'm gonna leave that up to you how to do it and if this is done i'm gonna get back to you okay you see I fitted the lights in the lamp and it's gonna stand like this, you see? And then we're gonna connect these. Uh, don't let me put my hand inside and break the lamp, so let me keep it just like this. You see how I did the corners, the turns? So it's just gonna stand like this. See that? And this will go into the computer. So let's get the USB cable and let's cut it. Hey, look what I found. I found the old mouse. I'm just gonna pluck this thing off here. Just gonna pull it off. And then here we see the cables. And we need a black one. Oh, okay, the black one. And we need the red one. Because I messed up just now. I'm just gonna cut the red one off. Because I don't want to, I don't want to peel it. You might want to leave these other cables, otherwise you must go in. Hey, I see another black cable here. I'm gonna cut them, the red and the black. So, here we have the red and the black cable. But what was this one? This one was black as well. I'm not sure, so I will have to check best way to do that is with the lighter and then just pull it like this you see 
so we take a good look which one is black because we need red and black we also see a color here that is, has been aha uh -huh. so this is just the ground so this one could also be blacker so we need this one the red and we'll have to see which one of the blacks we want we will need so because we don't want to blow up our USB ports if we take a look at this then we see that this is ground <laughs> see that's why I have a little dump dump nail so now we're just gonna connect these cables red goes to red black goes to black and if that is done we're gonna do a test and push the cable the USB into the Pentium 2 uh, compact armada that is now functioning as a music making machine eh? yeah we installed uh, uh, magics on it yep and I'm using my own samples not the magic samples I'm using Apple samples in it special samples that I created special for my songs and uh, yeah we'll have to see if that will power up the lamp but I think it should cause yeah I mean like my USB port is better than three little AA batteries so I'm sure it's gonna work okay though there we go the big test and wow look at that look at that light man look at that light coming off that bottle isn't that fantastic and you can also turn it in a way that it does not shine in your eyes eh? wow Look at that man, look at that light. It's just connected to the thing there. Let's take a look at it. Wow, look at that. You see that? Wow, fantastic. And you can turn it and it's just a light bulb. You see that? A USB light bulb, magic. This is the magic light, my friends. Would you say that this is a bottle? Would you say that this was powered by your USB port of your Pentium 2? Nobody would say it. I think with a light like this, we also need a little bit of music from my uh, Pentium 2 because it's a music maker now, you know? Well peeps, that's about it. The light is finished and if I just made a picture like this and I called it new energy. And I posted it on my Facebook. What the heck is he holding in his hand, man? What is this? Isn't it fantastic? It looks great. Here is the lamp. It gives so much light that I don't need this big light anymore, at least. You see? You can see me clearly, so it's not dark. Okay, we are now in completely dark with only the light. And this is how it kind of looks. 
if you do it in a dark room with only the bottle light so let me show you let's stand a little bit further away so you can get the idea so if you have um, I think two or three of these in the room I think it's more than a love light yo and it also saves energy maybe you could also power them with uh, yeah with how you call them them uh, panels them sun energy panels but this is the amount of light that you will get with this lamp okay. only thing you must not forget to do is to uh, seal seal the connection you see that seal it with good tape make sure that the cables don't touch each other none of them because it might harm your USB port of your computer but as you can see this is a fantastic lamp that you can create from any bottle and it looks very futuristic at least I think so and it's powered by the computer well peeps that was it the magic uh, the magic bottle light the magic light bottle as you can see it looks really beautiful gives a lot of light and Yeah, it uh, is powered by any computer with a USB connection So this thing is only using a uh, 4.5 volt 5 volts at this moment So yeah, and it gives enough light as you can see I can turn off my other lights and I can just sit here with my computer giving and having its own magic uh, glass bottle light peeps if you think this was a nice uh, idea and nice concept of course like this video subscribe to my channel and love to see you in my next video again